brand new bike doesn't need mapping. Out of the box, the bikes have to conform with emissions regulations, which means that you generally have quite a lean portion straight to the bottom of the red ring. It's just to get through emissions purposes, it doesn't really matter. Also, the bikes, when they're brand new out of the box, they've got loads of restrictions on them. It's something we, we go about a lot. So, getting them straight from the factory, setting them all up, it, it just benefits from smoother throttle response and nicer ride. Also, it'll get rid of all the anomalies in there from build because obviously they only map, they produce a, ta a map table that then is generic to the entire model. Now, with certain bikes and certain manufacturers, the tolerances between bike to bike is quite, quite drastic and therefore the fueling tables that are put onto them mean that it doesn't necessarily mean it's perfect, it can be a bit out here and there. So, you can benefit greatly from just a standard bike. Now, what most people are going to do, bang an air filter and exhaust on that, makes the, makes the bike feel more responsive, picks up quicker, performs better, that means the first thing we do to everything. But, once you've done that, those areas of the rev range that are already running a little bit lean, they're emphasised by changing everything else over, so all of a sudden you've got a bike that's gone from being kind of lean to being very lean. At that point, it, you can start to feel hesitation, it starts to feel a little bit lumpy. And even the new bikes with O2 sensors that run closed loop mapping, what that'll do is it'll only try and change one part of the, of the, of the rev range. It's not going to do the entire thing, it, it won't adapt enough. And it'll only work in a certain position as well. Generally speaking, it's like third gear at 2000 revs or whatever, something around there. And then in different gears and different revs, it doesn't work. So it doesn't. Having an O2 sensor doesn't mean it's a fail safe for the entire system. It won't map the bike. It, it's a misconception as well. So once you've done these two things, you're allowing the engine to breathe a lot more. Once it's breathing more, you need to fuel it properly. And there comes either a piggyback module, such as a power command or a bazaar system, or anything similar, or you go into the ECU and you flash up the ECU. As I said in one of the other videos, the ECU in comparison to a power commander you can generate the best results from. However, a power commander is superb at doing what it does, which is doing fuming, but it does that very, very well. As I say, you can check out the other videos for that.